When we're staging devices, this is the MC92N0 CE7, to create a wireless profile that can be copied to multiple devices, first we need to make an initial template of that wireless profile. To do this, we click on the Fusion icon and go into Manage Profiles. From there, unless you're using 101 for staging, I recommend double tapping on it and disable it. Don't delete it, just disable it. Tap on the screen, press Add. We're going to create a wireless LAN here called Store. Store will be the profile name and the SSID. We say Next and we say Next. Security mode, you need to choose what security. In this example, I'm going to do AES with a passphrase, WPA2 Personal. I'm going to do a passphrase, and I want to see what I enter just for my own reference. Here I'm going to type in passphrase. Okay. I'm going to say Next, Next, and I don't need to change these settings. I am doing data, so I'm going to say Save. So here I see two profiles. One's disabled, one is store. So I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to go to my Fusion Options. Options. I'm going to uncheck Ad Hoc because I'm not doing Ad Hoc networking. I'm going to go to Regulatory. Unless I'm using 802.11d in my access points, I'm going to disable it. As well as Band Selection, I'm only going to be using the 2.4 GHz network for mine. I'm going to press delete, Disable 5 GHz and press Save. You can leave them both enabled if you want to use both bands at some point. From that point, our templates virtually created. There are other settings that would be customized to your environment. But you could go down here to Import Export, and we're going to say Export. What we want to do is export the Fusion Options and Fusion Profiles. Uncheck Pack and Certificates unless you're using them. But we want to make sure we check the box that says Overwrite Conflicting Records. We're going to say export to file. We'll say OK and just leave it on its default name. You'll see success and then you can close the box. From that point, if you're going the device to the application directory, you'll see that it created an exported file. We're going to take that file off and rename it and that's the file we can use and put it on all of our other devices either through an MDM, through ActiveSync, However you get your files and stage your terminals, that can be used as a template, and I'll show you how to do that. So we take our new device, we see there's no profiles, and what we did, the file we exported and created, I, re -changed, the, I changed the name to store Wi-Fi, and we need to keep the extension, so we're going to copy this to the device to the application directory. So then there, you can either cold boot your device, following the cold boot instructions from the manual from the 92N0. This is from the integrator guide and the directions are laid out right there. That will merge the wireless settings. If you have an MDM you can send it down and tell your MDM to merge the file that's located here or through Fusion you go back to options and we see our boxes are all checked, and we go to the same place we went before, Import Export. And we're going to import this time. We're going to find our file. We're going to say OK, and we're going to click on Import. The file is imported. We can look and see, just to validate, under our options, regulatory has been changed. We're not doing ad hoc anymore, and now we see under profiles, we see our de disabled 101 and our active network.